Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits uh, review. Uh, on a much nicer day in September, yesterday was blooming evil. Now if you're wondering, if you look out your door and think, what's he on about? Uh, this is Tuesday today, Tuesday September the 10th. So that's why uh, it was wet yesterday. So Today I'm going to be reviewing Bad Company's 0219. They've got this strange... Uh, naming system uh, they've got a lot of these out you know um different you know as the name goes but we'll see what it's like an off tempo cloudy pale ale right let's crack it open oh come on nice citrus on the nose at least and very very frothy look at that now that's a head and a half so and you look at the look at the carbonation and lace in the bottom it's absolutely bubbling like a swine uh, it's certainly the right you know it's a harp glass so it's a lager glass and obviously as you know lager glasses will aid in carbonation and lacing because of the little widgety thing on the bottom and this has got a shape of a heart with two rings um, helping it. And uh, to me, it's, it's getting even bigger, the ad. Well, that's not helping matters. I'm supposed to drink it. Out the can then. So, um, very citrusy on the taste. Refreshing citrusy. On a day like this, you know, September day. It's, I'm sure it got up to about 20 earlier, which is a good temperature, you know. And in the sun, it always feels warmer. Um, yeah, so it's a cloudy, uh, golden pour, really, with m fantastic carbonation and lacing. That is absolutely ridiculous. It's going to be about five minutes before I can get to that. So out the can it is. Obviously, these cans, these are 440 mil cans, cost you around about three quid a, a, a can. It's pricey, you know, the the craft beer market does seem to be pushing a prices up the ways rather than, you know, all on the same level. Brewdog helped with that with some of their brands, uh, bigger bottles and that pushing the prices up. And these have come out now and everything's getting pushed up. Uh, is, it, is it the state of play? I mean, I've noticed just recently uh, Morrison's, we used to, we'd love Morrison's to go shopping, but their prices have gone up quite a bit the sugar's gone up like 20 pence for a one kilo bag the milk that we drink has gone up by 30 pence uh, for four pints because we don't buy the cheap four pint stuff we buy the um, bob uh, best of both so it's a skimmed semi skimmed or skimmed milk but it's got all the in, um, whatever all the ingredients in so I haven't done any reviews since Sunday night. Didn't do any reviews last night, Sunday. Uh, my son started a new job yesterday. He's working as um, as a trainee aircon fitter. And um, I, was, I was so stressed about him going in. Um, you know, drive him because he hasn't really drove that much, and he's a he's a little bit nervy driving. And the ring road in Nottingham is busy. You know, busy roads. You, you always get dickheads, don't you, on roads? And I'm stressing about that. And obviously, your normal Sunday evening stresses. And then I open the door, and if anybody's been following this, this channel, I had issues under the under the house, and even in the kitchen, with rats. Uh, the scariest thing I've ever ever gone through i've gone through some scary stuff but that it you know it got into my head and uh opens the door and there's this biggest thing on the deck in, and i'm looking what the hell was that and straight away i could see spikes oh it's a hamster but it had gone into full um spike mode and bloody hell these things i always thought hamsters were like this small it was like this i've never seen it like it the dog walks out goes around it Sniffs towards it, didn't get too close, he didn't. Walks around it twice, runs down the decking, uh, down, down to the bottom of the garden, runs back up the decking, walks around it again, <laughs> thinks, well, I've sod that, and walks in. And uh, not seen it again since, but 
I tell you what, that probably put the spooks up me again, you know, like the going out on, in the decking spooks. So much so that I'm going to get extra lights for my decking and really brighten my decking up. Uh, I can't be having that, it's just, uh, it's just not, it's not good, you know, um, yeah, I don't want it, I don't want it at all. But uh, last couple, last today and yesterday, two great days at work and I can feel that stress levels going down and in a good place. So, you know, uh, mental health, terrible, um, you know, if you never suffer with stress, anxiety or depression or anything like that, you are doing brilliantly well. If you are... You've got grey hair like me, because <laughs> I need to get it shaved, it looks terrible. So, um, we are five minutes into the review and the head is still at a stage where it's, it's not easily drinkable. But we'll have a go. Yeah, so uh, bags of citrus on the nose. And the bad company, you know, they bring out a lot of different beers. Because, I mean, I've got another one here. Uh, wild Gravity from them. And then, is this from them as well? Yeah. Uh, Asda, they sell them in Asda, these. Um, brewed exclusively for Asda as well. Uh, American Ale, Bad Company. And uh, another one here. West Coast Pilsner. Oh, West Coast Pale Ale, or Bad Company. Brewed exclusively for Asda. So, you know, um, obviously got a good relationship with Asda, you know. As does uh, improve their beer range. Well, I don't know if it's it's improving. It's moving with the times, isn't it? Um, as all these supermarkets are doing now, you know they're all moving along. But whether you lose good varieties, you know that's the killer. Losing crappy varieties, well, no one's really bothered about that, are they? But losing the good ones to be replaced by something maybe not as good. Oh, that's a that's a bug beer. So. Six point one percent in strength, not really coming across as that. Good or bad, you know. I mean, sometimes some do. To me, it tastes like a five percent. Tastes similar to sort of stellar range, you know. It's a nice taste. It's not in your face. It's more subtle. Subtle as where we'll go. Um, the citrusy elements to it very subtle nice aroma subtle taste so last night i was going to do a review last night but i was that busy bought one of these playstation classics and i am big into game consoles and you know if you've ever looked behind me and to that side you can see i've got uh, 10 different game consoles i love gaming uh, i don't play it much these days sadly because i'm always doing something else but i've got the winter months and uh, Always a good time in the winter months, especially now I've got a, a, a water heater in here to come down the shed, have an hour out of the way from the house, you know, because sometimes you need me time, you know, especially when you've been at work all day and you don't want to come home and, uh, you know, you need some time to yourself, whether you go out or you just chill. Yeah, anyway, I bought one of these PlayStation Classics and I've hacked it uh, using a thing called Bleem Sync. Uh, the hack was easy enough. You have to have, make sure you got. You have to have a compatible USB, uh, either a pen or a USB with a micro SD card slot. Uh, it's a bit involved. You have to go on the site to do it, and uh, I didn't have any uh, large adapters that were compatible. But anyway, I got past that in the end last night. Got it on, and uh, I'd already downloaded a load of PlayStation uh, ROMs uh, on my favourites. And there last night, you know, and it's it, it looks better on the big screen than it does on, you know, through the actual PlayStation 1 that I've got down here. And, uh, yeah, it looks, it's, it's bang on. I'm, I'm well happy, well happy with it. And, uh, yeah, so if you see one, I mean, I got mine for 25 quid, which was a bargain. Uh, it's cost me 15 quid for a, a card. And uh, that card, 64 gig card. Um... I'm going to get about 60 games on to add to the original 20 that's already on. So another 80 games. And, you know, 80 games. That's, that's, that's enough decent games there. And uh, looking forward to, um, you know, playing some good gaming. And uh, these little 
mini consoles, you know, especially when they get hacked, because there are some very clever people out there who hack game consoles. Uh, mine, I've got a website, dcmu.co.uk, and that's what I post news about. Uh, I've had that for like 20 years now, the, the website. Not as good as it used to be, but still post news. And uh, there's a lot of good information on there about hacking game consoles. And, you know, it's a good way of playing the classics from the olden days, but not having like 1,000 games in your ass, you know, that are going to block your ass up. There's legalities involved in downloading ROMs, but uh, as long as you're not selling them, I don't see a point with that, you know. Uh, the, the vast majority of the population don't hack their game consoles, but them that do know there's a, a will so much more than just, you know, the world that uh, Sony and Nintendo want you to see. So lovely citrus elements to this. It's just, for me, it's just nice and pleasant. It's not in your face, too hoppy. You know, it's going down a treat. Uh, the alcohol content's starting to sh show through a little bit more now. I've also just added, I've just checked the, I've got the prune juice here. Uh, smack behind me. Woof, that one. Uh, I've had to give that a good shake because it was bloody rubbish. And then I've also got my stout. And that's been bubbling up great. I've just added two bottles of syrup, strawberry syrup to it. Um, so one and a half litres of syrup. Obviously the syrup is very sugary. So that sugar will add to it the yeast. It, the yeast will burn through some of that sugar. But hopefully it will leave some of the strawberry uh, flavour intact. Otherwise, I've just wasted money, and uh, I mean, other, and I also don't want the syrup, the preservatives in the syrup, to kill the brew. So it's going to be a very nerve-wracking uh, week or two to see how it, how it goes, you know. And luckily, we're getting a bit of heat because we need heat to keep the brew going, as it were. Uh, doing that, bubbling away in the background. So, to break it down then, uh, golden, hazy golden pour, but unbelievable uh, carbonation and lacing, it was just unbelievable, you could, the head at one stage was like that, that was ridiculous. Um, citrus aroma, citrus taste, very pleasant, very subtle, not overpowering, you know, um, a for me, a very good introduction into craft beers, I think, you know, uh, a beer that's not going to hurt you drinking it, you know, you're going to drink it and you think, yeah, that's not too bad. And that's, some beers go for that, uh, I'll give you an example, Stones go to IPA, the hops in that are beyond anything I've ever tasted. If you wasn't a beer drinker, you drank that, and you'd think, oh, I'm never touching beer again. Uh, unless you love it, obviously. But uh, for me, uh, that's a beer that should be in shot glasses only because it's just too potent. As with this, very subtle, very pleasant, very easy to drink. Um, and if you're not a big fan of citrus and hops, uh, you'll get on with this, lovely. You know, it's a good introduction. So out of five... I'm going to give it, um, gets harder, you know, because, you know, we're on that 760-odd reviews now. Uh, obviously, not all beer reviews. There's been I've done other reviews, obviously, homebrew and spirits and wine, lager, cider. Do obviously, the full spectrum of reviews. Uh, only because I'm a piss, a piss artist and just want to drink. Uh, you got to be honest, haven't you, eh? Anybody who does beer reviews out there, unless they're doing it for money, is doing it because they love to drink beer or wines or spirits. Uh, that's the honest part about it. And then the same people watching it, you know, you're there to watch it because you're interested. Um, so yeah, out of five, I'm going to give it a 4.45 out of five, a very good beer. And even though I don't agree with the wacky name, 
bad company 0219 um a very good can you know a good one to try right that's it for this very long review i do apologize i do waffle i know that you know telling you my boring life <sighs> thanks for watching see you soon